everybody out there is doing good doing great blessed and staying productive i'm good doing great blessed and staying productive just in case you did not catch my last upload there is a thumbnail y'all go over and check it out so in today's video y'all i told y'all yesterday in my reaction that i was going to come back with a second upload for y'all of the reaction of the video titled birthday celebration Sa asia plan with her gifts cutting the cake okay it was a lot of things that i just wanted to say about that um and just basically how nika was acting in the video not moving around not getting up not acting and giving what's supposed to be given um during a birthday celebration especially it's my baby i'm gonna be up i'm gonna be serving it's gonna be something not just where it's the uh, everyday fucking day Thing. And if I present it to the YouTube streets, uh, I got some Little Caesars pizza and we got a cake. We got some ice cream. I'm doing a damn thing and present with these gifts that I went out and bought. And so I came on yesterday and started the video, y'all. But somewhere in there, two videos on Shanika Grant within a small amount of time is very draining. My energy was going because then that's where I took it off topic and started to talk about basically Sasa in the first two years of her life. First two years of her life just being under the care, okay, and not <laughs> being cared for of Shanika Grant, okay? So that's what I'm going to jump into today, but I feel like it's some things that I, I probably could have touched more or I missed out on, I don't know. Uh, but I just want to give y'all the real time of saying happy Friday. I also want to say a lot of us look at these celebrations when the kids have birthdays and she go out and she buy them cakes and, and, and different things like that and say, well, the kids is happy. Hell yeah, the kids is happy for that day, for that, for that moment, for that hour, just for that little bit of time. But as soon as the camera is off, as soon as the day is over with, the shit goes back to normal. And also when it comes to any birthday, some kids, there we go, get treated just like S-H-I-T, okay? I'm just gonna say that. The way she uh, addresses them, talks to them, all those things. It's our Asia's birthday, but I feel like there is no excuse. There is no excuse for what the fuck she give as trying to be a mother and then coming on saying a mother's job is never done. Uh, also in the video that she just put out yesterday talking about she aggravated. She's so aggravated talking about her oldest kids and the situations with the insurance. Uh, being $900. Then I say Shanika Grant don't pull that shit, okay? You know that they was talking about the insurance situations within my comments and was saying how you was already paying $900 and which you having this ticket that you just received, we're pretty sure that your insurance is going to go up some more, okay? So that's what she came on and talked about, basically talk one and Naya then fucked up insurance up even though she wasn't, it wasn't her. Uh, and still right now, still trying to claim Naya as being a driver. Okay, sometimes you can put in situations and you have to fix it and, and, and clear the shit up. But I'm pretty sure with Naya working two jobs out here, she can help you with the insurance and get it back where it needs to be. Also with Taquan, but y'all know Taquan is not working at the moment. Okay, but I would say your oldest kid should be able to help you where you need to be with the insurance since they are the blame for that. So coming on talking about how aggravated you is, bitch, you stay aggravated. When it comes to your kids, it's always a problem, okay? And then that's why I say if they was a, if they was to get snatched again, how would you feel, okay? Um, 
blaming them for everything, pointing the finger, aggravating, just my nerves, just all this nonsense. That's what I would say for a fucking view. Downing your kids, pushing your kids out here to be bully, bullying them yourself, overlooking them, allowing them to just exist. Now when I take it back, talking about South Asia's birthday, okay, I look and I seen her face when the blocks got pulled out. Oh Lord, pulled. Got poured out uh, on the table. She was like, oh, kids never have anything. Okay, so I don't even take the toys that we are seeing now and I promise you we will probably would never see them again after maybe a little bit of time. They will not be nowhere in sight. Uh, just talking about, as I said, there should be no excuses. Uh, no excuses for just not making her day grand, okay? Not making her day grand. And when I say also when it comes to celebrations of any kids, uh, just allowing them all to enjoy that day as a whole, okay? Because I look at it as these kids have been through so much and they are still going through so much that any moment that they have to enjoy themselves, let them fucking live. So I just turn into y'all. Um, I think it's the part that drained me of just talking about the situation first two years of her life. Okay, just going through the most. Okay, and then you say the next years after that, what will it be? Okay, everything. I didn't come in like a, a, a what would I say, a, a daughter and a mother, a baby girl, how I supposed to be with my mother and she caring for me and this and that. Just the motherly love, I'm not under that. Okay, y'all see me and she is presenting me now because I need to put content out, okay? I believe if the cameras was off and she was not creating content, this day would not be grand. Okay, this day would not be providing pizza and the cake and it'll be whatever. Because Nika, she's last minute on everything. So basically saying, you really don't give a fuck. Because if you really gave a fuck, you would be planning for this day ahead of time. Okay, so in this video, y'all, I'm not going to put a lot of screen recordings because I just want to basically sit down uh, and give my view on this video. I feel like she should she should feel very guilty, okay? Especially when it comes to Sasa. I'm just saying, you know, we carry <laughs> we carry the load for nine months. We build the bun. The baby builds the bun with us. We are all they know, okay? Once they reach the outside world, and to have that taken away, to now I'm with somebody else, and and I know, okay, as being a baby, this is not my breeder but i have to somehow bun with her because right now it's all i got when we look at the, those videos those are the things we get when we look at leah and celebration and crying over hygiene products she battles she's battling bullying in school with with people saying that she stink i appreciate these products for y'all already know the reason then when you look at her in a situation and you say when does it stop when does it end these kids continue to suffer year after year and y'all think just because a fucking birthday approaches it's 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 all they fucking got. It's all they got for that moment. It's all they got for just getting a little bit. If a school year didn't roll around, if a birthday didn't roll around, or Christmas, or if social media just wasn't present to acknowledge the kids and what they are going through, okay? And pressure, applying pressure. Would we be even seeing any of this? Probably not, okay? The camera was continue to be on her and she will continue to do what she do so that's why i say if it was me and i know i wronged my kids i overlooked them okay i i done all these things when days come up i will make sure that it's grand okay it's grand because i feel the guilt the guilt of me not doing exactly what i was supposed to do Okay, that's what I say. So then that's where I say cold-hearted and fucking heartless. That's what she is and what she give. 
So I say, you don't pull out the house. You don't take her out bundle with her. You don't clean up. You don't comb her hair. But on this one day, oh, her hair is combed. Clean pajamas, clean socks. But when we see her on another video singing happy birthday, it says, why would you present her like this? Okay. What they say, first impression is fucking everything. First impression is everything. And that's how I will continue to see you. Okay. So it doesn't matter of... Well, I don't have much. I'm going to Goodwill, getting toys, birthday cake. I see you for who you are, okay? Uh, thirsty, fucking neglectful ass breeder. Give no fuck about your kids. And I have to agree with a comment that said she treat her kids like animals. I totally agree, okay? I want to have first. I want to have last. And I barely give, okay? That is something that I pointed out in this video, okay? She was eating on the cake first. When Sai needed a spoon and she should have been eating first, okay? It's annoying. And then I have to say this. For so many that feels that I should not just talk about her. I should probably go talk about Jasmine or these other mommies. At the end of the day, they handling their damn thing, okay? They might be out here and hoeing around trying to find something. But at the end of the day... I mean, the kids ain't been stuck in the house and treated like shit, basically, that we see in every video that she posts, she put this shit at her, okay? So, I would say this is very important. If you just feel that you tired, shit, do whatever's best for you. But long as I have the energy to talk, I'm going to talk, okay? Regardless. Uh, the pressure will stay fucking rolling, no matter what. Uh, so anyways, y'all, I'm going to leave it there and then I'm just jump into this video. So then that's where I ask y'all, put y'all comments down below if y'all actually understand where I'm coming from, okay? Just because you pull out a cake, don't change these kids' situations of what they go through every day. It's almost like being in darkness and only having a flashlight to see for one day. It's like being suffocated, Okay? But only having room to breathe for one fucking day. Because then after that, so I got on the same shit. So I her ain't come. It's the same shit. But when I present it, I want to give y'all the fucking illusion of, that's my baby. Huh? And say, bitch, this ain't what it is. Because if, it, what it, if it's what it really is, we will actually see it. Anyways, y'all, uh, La La Gang, I hope y'all have a good and great blessed Friday, because I will, on this day, and I'll see y'all back on reactions, should be Monday, okay, my kids start school Monday, so, see y'all with the reactions, hopefully Monday, if not Monday, I'll be here Tuesday. What it do, what it do, la la gang. Happy Thursday. I hope everybody out there is doing good, doing great, blessed and staying productive. I'm doing good, doing great, blessed and staying productive. Anyways, y'all, just before jumping into today's reaction video, if you haven't catched my last upload, there's a thumbnail. Y'all go over and check it out. If you do know, this is the second video for today because I ran short on time in my first reaction so yes i am back basically doing a two for one a double upload at once so if you are new here and you are wondering who i'm talking about and i'm talking about the breeder she is selfish as fuck selfish as fuck greedy as fuck uh feel like her kids is just not deserving deserving of having the same things as she would eat and buy and all those things and not deserving to have the same as her little favorite TikTok child, okay? Just not deserving. Um, I wanted to come back because I wanted to touch the actual birthday video, the celebration, okay, that she said. I wanted to touch that, y'all, because it was some things that I just noticed This like, bitch, you are greedy as fuck. And you rather have for yourself or more than enough for yourself than allowing your kids to have. And that's the sad part. So, her channel name is Miss Nika Crazy Life 10 Edition. And when I say it's crazy, it's crazy. It is crazy because of how she treats her kids. How 
she live, how she don't want better for herself, how she like to swim in her own struggle. So she say and pull her kids down and they're with her, not allowing them to come up for air. Basically, that's how I put it, y'all. And the other channel name is uh, Miss Nika Real Life Situations. But the shit that she presents here for us is a bunch of lies. It's, it's a bunch of just for the camera purposes only. But what the kids is dealing with in the background, no friends, no relatives, no, just them, okay? Barely get to go to school. And when you get to go to school, you have to deal with different bullies, just making your life miserable. So the title of the video that I am back doing a reaction on is birthday celebration, Sa Asia playing with her gifts, cutting the cake. Okay, the previous video that I reacted on was basically her out shopping saying since Sa Asia was two years old, she only had $20, not too much cash to go out here and do what she needs to do for her baby girl video. Now, jumping into this video, I seen a lot of comments of y'all saying, oh, the video is sad. It said that just of what Nika give. There is nobody to invite to the party. It's always just them, nobody else. I was add to that and say it's also sad too because this is one that was taken away at a very young age, a very young age where she should have been with her breeder, okay? I'm just saying, far as being an infant, not talking about Nika and her ways because we all know None of the kids should be in her custody. That's how we feel and what we do know, okay? By what we see and what she gives. But this one here was just a little small infant, okay? When you have them that young, it's the bonding time. It's the bonding time for the mother and the baby. And that was the time where Sasa was taken out of her custody. So then you would say... Months went by, she didn't get her back to what she was almost five months, right? So, not able to build that bun, bun broken. That's what I would say. And we all see by just watching what Nika give with her, there is no real bun, okay? How can you have a little small baby and you leave her at home? You don't keep up. You you don't want better for her. Uh, you know that she's getting up in age and she's not hitting her milestones as she should. Okay, A lot of us sit on the outside and we see it. We say it. We talk about it. Y'all leave comments about it. But she just play dumb about the situation where Sa Asia, Sa Sa should be very further along than she is us sitting back watching other youtubers and they kids around the same age or is younger than her hitting milestones fast and doing all those things and nika continued to make excuses saying um she'll do things on her own timing but as being the protector as you should be you should be able to see her timing is not what it should be and get her help okay i would also say with her turning to first two years of her life just of being a, a struggling struggling situation struggling with being sick and going through a lot of different things with nika being her breeder okay so then you say, how do you bring kids into this world? And the first two years of their life is the worst, okay? And, and you refuse to change it around or give them better or just do better. If you don't want to do better for yourself or the other people that's asking, like, dang, I mean, you could do better than that. You can give them better than that. You can uh, change your situation if you don't want to do it. For nothing else, nobody else, you should at least want to do it for your kids. So then that's where I say, well, today is her birthday. She survived two years of being under Shanika Grant, okay, and her fucking neglect. Another child, another story, uh, another day. So with this video, I would say you will put a little bit more into it. I think I'll feel a certain way too because... The baby that got taken from me because I, I'm not taking accountability. I was letting things take place and happen and overlooking things because I was so worried about myself, my drug habits, and the things for me that I overlooked and 
the bond that I was supposed to have built with Sasa got snatched away. And then that's where you say Lena takes place and Lena seems like the one that should be too because she gets the attention and she's the She's the favorite. She's all these different things. Then that's where we all say, too, if you sit down with these kids or when these kids actually get older, they all will have some type of story to tell just about their life and certain things that they have went through just being under the care of Shanika Grant. And I will also talk about the situation where we say, where's the relatives? Where's the friends? Where's the other kids? It's it's nothing, okay? Nobody, not even Keisha, not a friend, not a bingo buddy with their grandkids. Or kids. It's, it's no fucking body. Right to this day, she still doesn't take accountability for her actions, for her drug habits, for her neglect, for her just basically overlooking her kids and allowing her kids to stay in the midst of a, of a struggle, okay? That's what I would say. Um, and then I also wanted to say it's quite funny with the kids having no relatives, no one around, not even knowing grandma. Y'all, when I'm saying grandmothers, I am talking about Nika, mother, Hayward's mother, or whoever Sa'asia father is, their mother. They have no grandparents for real. Mothers, okay? Nika, grandmother out of the picture and I believe Hayward grandmother is not in the picture. Uh, Sa Asia, she say belong to Hayward, but y'all know different, okay? Uh, but also to say when you have your own mother that has no dealings with you whatsoever in no type of way with all these stories that you have came on and told everybody but she had enough sense and enough dealings to put CPS in your life for your older two kids when you had Taquan and Naya to get them out of your custody as well. Because saying, even though y'all have no dealings, as you say, but how she treating her kids and what's taking place, they need help. So now that she's on this side of social media, for as YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, however, we are saying the same thing. So then you say when you get a birthday or a celebration, at least the kids get to enjoy something. You understand? Then that's where you say you wish it was something totally different, but it's really not. Okay, it's a cake and an ice cream and just a little bit, not too much. Okay, because the coins that I have, I saved it for myself. But anything that's dealing with my kids, taking them to school, I'm going to complain about the gas money. Washing clothes, I'm going to complain about the clothes and, and the money. Cooking the food, I'm going to complain about that. The kids don't want to eat. They mess over the food. This and that. Birthdays come around, you complain. And then that's where I say anything that's not just focused and dealing with her, she complains about it. Then they say, who else do you have to complain about rather than your kids? It's her kids. So, in this video, y'all, I want to say she's greedy as fuck. Uh, as you can see, Naya is trying to help out, get everything situated. Uh, she's coming on, Sasa is basically playing with her blocks, her gifts that Nika went out and got from Goodwill. As I said in my other video, it's nothing wrong with that, but it's the effort. It's the effort that you put towards your fucking priorities, okay? Basically, giving different. If you already knew the girl birthday was coming up, the money that you were spending on pampering yourself and all these different things, I guess thinking you was getting ready for the meet and greet, okay? Could have been set to the side just for Sai Asia only to say, well, if I want to get her some, if I want to buy her some outfits, if I actually want to take her somewhere, okay? That's what I would say. Um, basically could have gave different, um, but... As y'all can see, Sasa was very excited, especially when she seen her blocks, her toys. And then you say, why would she be so excited? Because these kids don't have toys, okay? Everything that they receive and they get, they lose it. It goes away. They can't find it. Then you say, Nika, what are you doing with the kids' stuff? Why is it that you don't want your kids to have anything? Why you don't want them to have things to occupy their time so they won't be in the house and just being fucking uh destructive and not only destructive but rude and fighting and doing all these different things 
So in this video, okay, she gave her the toys. Y'all seen the different toys that she gave? I was wondering, okay, uh, they not boxed up. They don't look new. Maybe somebody sent them to her, but she actually got them from Goodwill. So they prepping and getting everything together. Nika don't have the spoons. She don't have the plates. She don't have none of that. Then you say, if you are preparing and getting ready for a celebration, why, why are all these things in your vehicle? Why do you keep certain things stored in your vehicle? Then we always talk about how all things is always misplaced. Nothing is never in order worth having. Then I have to say, y'all, it's crazy. It's crazy how she didn't want to go out and purchase a table for the kids to eat at. And it took so long for it took so long for her to actually get them up off the floor to eat at a table. But as soon as a table came through, she's sitting her dusty ass at that table every chance she fucking get. And then it's like, nah, girl, go have a seat on the floor and eat how your kids was eating out here. Two boxes of pizza and also got her cake. Why is it that the kids always gotta eat Little Caesars? I mean, they got Domino's, they got Pizza Hut. They got different places. So then that's where I ask y'all, if y'all out there in fucking Sumter, uh, do y'all not have different pizza places where you can actually get different types of pizza? A lot of kids to be excited about something fucking different, okay? If you can go out and you can buy two from Little Caesars, I'm pretty sure you can go somewhere else and buy pizza as well. Uh, Sai, I feel like, what's wrong with her hair, okay? Did y'all not just put the time in, something quick and fast? Uh, the Shein pajamas that they purchased. Okay, was this already planned out when you should have been buying all clothes for the kids for school? You was buying pajamas for Kira, Lena, and Sasa for them to wear on Sasa's birthday, right? But nothing else for the rest of the kids. Because seeing a glimpse when you was eating the pork chop, corn, and rice that Naya cooked, Kaya was just dressed any kind of way, as they always dress. So then where you was on a nice clothes today we know it was a lie because you showed nobody you only showed the ones that you had bought purchased pajamas for so it's your baby birthday least you can do is get up off your ass get up off your ass make sure you have everything that you need make sure everything is presented and fucking serve oh, you know I think with Naya right now, okay, you put her in all these different positions and the positions that she's in, she don't know how to handle them. Mean as fuck to the kids, that's what I was saying. Do she have any kids of her own? Hell no. It's fucking mean as hell to the kids. She talked to her siblings crazy and Nika allows it. If you also caught in the video where Nika was sitting down eating the pork chops, corn, and rice, Leah and Naya. Okay. Leah was calling Naya's name and Naya wasn't answering. Naya turned around and said, what do you want, nigga? You keep calling my name and not saying nothing. Oh, that's right. Y'all say Naya has an issue. It, it got to be a problem. It seems like she don't like her. Maybe it's jealousy. It's something. It definitely is. And I could tell within the tone of the things that how she was speaking towards her. Okay, switching back over to Nika. Okay, the one that wanted to hold the chair down, didn't want to get up and do nothing for her baby for her birthday. Um, before cutting the cake, 
Okay, we call her the fucking breeder, but she handle her kids like dogs, okay? I'm just saying, she act like they so nasty and they so this. If you look at them with your face turned up, okay, the same one that told Kaya when she was in Family Dollar or Dollar General about her jacket, basically like she smelled. This is how she approached and talked to these kids. Faces all tore up. Don't come to Kate and don't put their hands in the box. You understand that? That's what y'all can't see her. Give me all of that. I got birthdays coming. Don't try. And I say it on camera because I mean that. Y'all go ahead and start putting your hands on in this girl, okay? Cool. So, all right. Y'all can have some, but don't put your hands on. That's nasty. Everybody, you got to go. You know how she is already up here. Okay, these are your kids. And if they're not up to par and doing the things that they're supposed to do, it's because you're not fucking teaching them. You're teaching them all the wrong things. And to you, you look at them as being so fucking disgusting. And you say, why is that when these are your kids? You brought them in. Taekwon is supposed to be there, but I guess he's not coming down. He's not coming down for the cake. He don't want none of it. Okay, but the main thing here is all about self. Okay, looking at Nika and all about self. If y'all noticed in her shopping video, she bought a cake and she also bought two containers okay of ice cream so then you would say well there should be more than enough more than enough to go around more than enough for everybody to have seconds so she sat down the whole time basically wasn't moving around not going to get the things she needed had the kids go to the car to get the lighter why do you have a lighter in the car but she said it was for the firecrackers right so they drop down in the comments down below who believed that i fucking don't uh in this video Naya is serving the ice cream, okay? Nika is cutting the cake for the kids. Naya is serving the ice cream. You could tell Nika doesn't like it, okay? This is the part that caught my eye for me to say she is greedy as fuck. And she will say that her kids don't eat much. They'll waste it. They're not going to eat it all. That's why she only gives them a little bit. That's not the reason why. The reason why is so she can have more for herself or more for herself for life. That Naya was putting a big scoop on the kids' plate. Okay, she told Naya, "Stop doing that. They're not gonna eat all that." Naya told her, "Well, you got me doing it. Okay, I don't want them coming back asking for more." And y'all also heard in a little clip when Naya cooked the food, the pork chops, the rice, and the corn. Leah and Kaya, the other kids, wanted more. So it's not that they're going to waste it. She's afraid of giving them more. She's afraid of giving them too much because I want some, okay? So that's what she was telling Naya. Like, 
you're giving them too much and I want some too. But you have two containers of ice cream, so it doesn't matter if they eat one up with her giving them enough. You have enough for your fucking self. But you could tell over her face she didn't didn't like it. Then that's where I say greedy as fuck. You rather have more for yourself and make sure you're good than your kids. But this is something that we speak about and talk about all the time. And it actually showed. It showed in the birthday celebration video. Okay, And then she said, you're not opening the second one up. That's what she tells Knight. So then that's where you say you have kids within the home and they're not allowed to have seconds, okay? Maybe if she don't want, want it or don't want to go back for more, she'll probably allow them to have it. But if it's something that she like, and y'all know she like ice cream because she's always running to Mickey D's, okay? They're not deserving. So I, I was sitting here eating her cake. And her ice cream. So then that's where you say why you run to Mickey D's by yourself. For yourself. These kids will enjoy that as well. All these lies that you cook up to serve. To not give your kids the same as you give yourself. I would say it's fucking sick. And not only sick, it's fucking sour. Okay? You know, anything that's sour just makes you sick to your stomach. To know that the full blown breeder that brought these kids in okay don't want them to be good don't want them to be great don't want them to be happy don't want them to eat enough have enough enjoy certain things but i can do it they need it spooned okay now you guys saw saw ice cream so i had a, a slice of cake on her plate she needed a spoon you think Nika got her ass up to get a spoon? Hell no. She's sitting there slicing cake for her fucking self. Making sure I'm eating first. Why not make sure your birthday girl got her spoon so she can enjoy her cake? Instead, so I had to just go down and bite into it. That's where Naya said, get her a spoon. Then you say, who is the parent here? Is it Nika or is it Naya? Okay. Both of them is fucking evil, I would say. Neither the way she speaks to them and what she gives, we notice it all the time. We notice that she run her mouth too much, okay? Some things you need to put on a halt. You need to just stop. It don't take that much. But you can definitely see the connection. It's not what it's supposed to be with Nika and her baby Sai, okay? That's what I would say from watching and looking at this video okay it just seems like she's fucking off a little bit sasa is enjoying her cake but nika feels like it's too much sweet it's too much icing on there she starts scraping the icing off okay? allow her to enjoy her day okay as much sugar and popsicles that you feed them kids every day okay soda and and juice a little icing ain't gonna hurt no fucking body and you know that shit within you where you don't want your kids to enjoy. Enjoy, even if it's the food, okay? Even if it's the ice cream, even if it's the toys or the bikes, okay? Or even if it's just going outside, playing around, having fun. You don't want your kids to be happy and enjoy things. I feel like she is someone that, since she is miserable and her soul is miserable, that's what she give her kids. And a lot of y'all say, y'all see it. Y'all see it within Kaya, okay? Every time she is displayed in a video, you see it. And I feel like that's just how Nika is and what she gives. Okay? If my kids is miserable, <laughs> they are being loved. If they are happy, mm, this ain't love. So no, say she is selfish as fuck. She's so selfish. She gets pissed off seeing that her kids is getting more than enough. They are enjoying the ice cream. Okay? I want it for myself. Not only do I want this little bit for myself, but the other container in there, I want it for myself as well. Or I might just give them one little spoon. Okay, I can say one thing about Naya. When she's feeding the kids, she feeds the kids. When she's cooking, she's cooking. Okay? Nigga is somewhere in there. She's scared of something. I don't know what it is. Scared of overfeeding her kids. Scared of, of giving them the things that they like. Scared of allowing them to enjoy the food just as much as she do. Selfish. 
I can push my kids in the wrong direction and treat them wrong, but I don't know what good is. Anyways, y'all, that's it. That's all that I have for this reaction video. If y'all like this reaction video, let's throw the thumbs up. And if you have not, I do ask that you do 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 subscribe. Uh, y'all already know everything that it's like I give over here ain't nothing ever for us. But what I ask y'all to do is drop y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all feel about this birthday video, child. What y'all feel about Nika doing? I mean, you giving them too much ice cream. I want some. Bitch, the day is not about you. It's about the kids. Allowing them to celebrate her day. Bitch, sit back, chill, and relax. Allow them to have good and enjoy. And then when they're done, you can eat and do whatever else you got to do. That's what I would say on this day. She's selfish as fuck. Anyways, y'all see y'all in the next Now